Good, Chizu. Hi. Pretty un amazing. Bro, you ain't even. That's a fucking. There's the moon, Chizu. Hey. Woohoo! Just to have that moon in the bow. Ah.
Catch that big, there's six in there. Give it to the kids, right? Fuck, <laughs> 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 oh, hell! Mate! That was upset. Shoes are landed! <laughs> had no speed! Oh, 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 How's the hold down, mate? Tell hey, us the hold down, about. nearly two ways, eh? Literally. There's no lead in the pencil at the moment, I tell ya. 
Woo. Ah. Ragged out. Oh, man. Truly like a redheaded stepchild, that one. Yeah. That was like two redheaded stepchilds. <laughs> Fucking hell. Through the shredder. Through the shredder. Thanks for the boys for picking me up.
Yeah, two days ago it was like next level, but today it was a next, next, next level. <laughs> yeah, so you seem to um, get it under your belt this morning, first thing out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get on the ski with Dill, so got to get a couple quick ones and I could have been done by 6.30, but I was just <laughs> frothing, so we got to get a couple more, mate, it was pumping out there, it was fun. Just dropped off slowly throughout the day, but yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, the steps were not too, they were quite manageable, really, weren't they? Yeah, there was probably one or two that were pretty, um, pretty vicious, but yeah, no, it was, you know, you just got to take it as they come, you know, I don't know, fuck. <laughs> just fucking rip in. <laughs> what about the uh, camaraderie, the you know, the, the brotherhood? Was, uh, yeah, no, nah, all the boys are sick. Um, the locals, now nah, yeah, the legends. So thanks again, lads, for for having us down here as well. Boys are legends. In summer, she. Uh, oh mate, she's bloody charging. That was unbelievable the wave she got. It's yeah. crazy. She's an absolute machine. <laughs> Especially she's got a mentor like her dad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Even Dill, mate. What he's doing at his age, mate. I hope I'm doing it. <laughs> I, I think it was kind of like, I don't know. We we definitely thought it was going to be pretty solid toe waves. I would say maybe a little underwhelming, but I think in the morning there was definitely like there was a few of what we thought. Yeah, I think I had a few where I was close, and that I probably should have got out of a couple, which I didn't. But I guess that's what you do down here is you just commit and put in the time and slide down a few and hope that you get out of them. And I think, yeah, I just wasn't having wasn't having the greatest session, and just tried to slide into a few. <laughs> Didn't really work out. Do you feel like you've learned a lot since the last? Like you've had, you've been surfing what for two three years now? And... Yeah, the waves, even the waves that I take, are way different to what I used to be taking. I think I look a lot more for. I'm less thinking about making it, more thinking about actually getting barreled now. <laughs> We've got two days of it. I've never done that. Um, in like a week or a few days so yeah the conditions were epic um, everyone got good ones everyone's safe um, crazy rides and yeah it's like where, where everyone's from summer you could tell the other day she was like oh she was really cold and, and sat all day watching it um, but then today it was a high tide in the morning and she goes dad if we're gonna go I want to get one early and and then she did, she put her wedding on like in the dark and um, yeah, she was super positive. And I think from the other day, learning and it was a good warm up. And then when it comes to day, just having that confidence helped her so much. And um, Max, he's gone to another level, I reckon. Oh, Max, he is, he's one of the best slab surfers on the planet, like all around. He's not just a slab surfer. He's like, he, he does, he rips in small waves, rips in everything. Mate, his lines, what he's doing, backside, frontside, um, he's, he's one of the best in the world by far. So, And on top of that, he's a good kid. So, yeah. Mate, this one um, on the wish list again, coming back to this slab, and obviously didn't disappoint. No, nope. um, it never does here. It's cold. Not what I'm used to, but I've been getting way more used to colder climates, so um, I was fired up to come back. And we had two days of swell, which is more than you can hope for in most places. You know, you travel from what I do, like you travel a long way for one day most of the time, and you're betting on one day. And mm. so when you get something like this where there might possibly be a forecast of two days, then it's just like kind of doubling your odds of actually getting some good waves. And so got lucky like the first day was what it was and um, it was hard to pick them and it was warbly and then paddled a good one so for me and for what I do like I don't come to ship streams all the time so for me that makes me happy and then today my first time towing ever ship streams and first time towing anybody so two things that I wanted to do and figure out just because like if there is that really big one you want to like have a little bit of experience and so I was super fired up to tow a few waves, get a tow board under my feet, um, something that I could get used to and know and have for my own, and then also tow Kip into a few waves. I wanted to just know because it's nice to be able to like, if someone else wants a wave, you can get them a wave. You know, you're, you're not just the guy like, hey, like someone please get me a wave. Um, and then you get a wave and you can't return the favor. So love to be able to do that and got to do that this morning, so. And, and that's 
uh, ship stands because tow really does have a place. That, you know, it's not all the ways of paddleable. You know, you, you, it has a place, doesn't it? And that's what you thought maybe. No, yeah. Time. Especially like at, at slabs and especially at this slab, there's just a point of no paddle. That's it. And it's not a paddle versus tow. Here it's like, and what I'm finding with a lot of the slabs in Australia, there's such a respect for like, if you want to have a go at a paddle, the tow guys will pull off. Um, but for the most part, it just gets to a size where there's no chance of you humanly it's speed, paddling. Eh? It's, it's speed. the speed of the wave and the fastness because of the deep water to shallow, the fastness of how it lurches up. You just can't be on that lurch with your own arms once it gets to a certain size, I think. So what happened with, um, did you use a tow board? Who, who's tow board? you have one or? I ordered one. I ordered one at the beginning of the last year and Paisel finally shaped me one. And then I got it here, didn't even know what screws to put in and then <laughs> went to the local grocery store and found the screws and the screwdriver. Got it set up last night and then it was perfect. Got my straps in the right place first time and I'm just gonna leave them in, leave the board how it is and hopefully be able to use it a few more times. And just to all these guys that, you know, they, they, it was a good balance of locals and a couple of people that have been surfing here for quite a while and the respect that guys like, you know, Dylan and then Jerome from Morocco. It's just a, a really good cross-section of humans. No, it is. It's, it's a really good crew and the locals here are, they have the waves so wired and so you can learn so much from them. But also they're like, hey, yeah, like you want to come in and, and give it a go? then go ahead and do it. Like They're gonna get the best waves of the day because you see their experience at the wave. Um, and they're better than anyone else at a wave like this, you know, when they grow up here and they learn it and they've spent the time at it. Um, but I'm just thankful to be able to show up and, and get a few waves and, and they're so welcoming and then everyone's happy to go have a beer and a meal after the day's done. And that's the kind of things you live for at the end of these trips. And finally, it's not over. There's still more swell coming. You can <laughs> see the stop. window never seems to go to sleep. You know? No, it's crazy. I think this year more than any other, the way these south swells are pumping in, these, and it's just like it's something opened the floodgates and the runways open, and they're just following each other in. It makes me nervous for the Hawaii winter because that starts happening there. The last time I seen that, it was 20 foot every other Wednesday for three months and everyone's just blowing up. But that seems like this is like the year of Australia and what's happening here. It's every other week, there's another huge swell. It's hard to leave. Well, that's it. Like two of the most incredible days. It just, I can't work it out. It just seems to be getting better and better. We just keep getting these incredible swell events and everybody's having fun. No one's getting hurt and it is really gnarly out there. So. I'm grateful for what I've been able to document and show you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the edit and um, we'll definitely be on the next World Chase. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, write a comment and give us the thumbs up and we'll see you on the next World Chase.